So today, what I'm gonna be doing is doing a what's in my tackle box. So yeah, what is in my tackle box? Let's find out what is in my tackle box while our baits is in there. Tuck, be quiet, I'm doing a video. That's my dog, by the way, right there, right there. Oh yeah, y'all love him. Y'all are gonna love him. If y'all meet him, you'll love him. Everybody loves him. So let's get this started. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off right here, just bobbers, couple bobbers. I don't really use this very much. So then back here, I got pliers, so you can get deep in the throat. If you, if you hook a hook a fish really deep in the throat, you got those go deep in the mouth. You got some Rapala pliers. These are very reliable. They cut good and they do all that stuff good. Then what we have here, we have some top water. Oh yeah, let's get out that top water, boy. Quick moving. Okay, so. First off, we got some jitterbugs. We got a black one, and then we got this this frog one. I've ne never really used jitterbugs because, in my opinion, they're not very good. But that's just me. Some people might like them. Then I have this top water mouse. It's not a very good bait, in my opinion. It's not very good. This mouse. It's not a very good mouse. Some mice are better than others, but I've caught. I've had two blobs and caught one of them on this. And then I have this frog. I use this at ponds all the time. I love it. It's a good bait. I love this frog. Then right here I have Live Target. This bait is very expensive. That's why I only have one it's a $12 bait. It's a good bait too. I've only used it a couple times though, but I've heard it's good. Got some a grub surrender bait. Then right here, got a hula popper. I've heard these work good some days and other days they suck. I mean it's just off and on. Sometimes I'll throw them, sometimes I won't. And then a skirt. I don't know why the skirt in there. I don't know where else to put it. So next. We have this. We have some bomber sunglasses. Ooh la la. Oh, ha, ha. These float. They work really good in the polarized. I like them a lot. Set them right here out of the way. So then after this, got my cranks. I don't know why, but these are like boxes that my dad used, and then I use them now because yeah, he used to fish all the time, but now I fish a lot, so I'm using them. And anyways, the other box has crank when this one should. But anyways, here's some springtime crank baits. These look good in the spring. Square bill, round bill. I think I have some round in there. I don't know yet. Then I have this. Good square bill, good square. Then I have the Rapala Wrap Shad. I've done good with this. Got some regular cranks, regular cranks. Some swim baits. Crawdad crank. Pull this out. It's the only one I have. I don't want to hook myself. The good old reliable crank bait. This one's all reliable. I thought in the pond. I'll throw the square build, and then right here, ooh, this one's so good at rattle, see? It's a good bait, good bait. Okay, I got the silver one, it swims weird, but I, I think I can fix it. And then this is a great springtime bait. In the spring I catch four, my dad, he told me about it, he used it, I never even heard of these, he used it, and then he told me, he said, son, you should use that, so I started using it, and he caught fours on it, four pounders. Ooh, it was a blast. I th he said it was a blast, actually. It's it's a... Uh, let's get this untangled. Really? Gosh dang. Okay, wiggle warp. Yeah, there it is. And then this is a good bait. I've done a video on this. Great bait. And then I got a jerk bait. Rapala jerk bait. I think this is Rapala anyways. Yeah, Rapala. Yep. See, I was right. I knew it. And this is from Bass Pro. It's a good jerk bait. I've used it. Caught a couple fish on it. Next on the list, we have my crankbaits. No, I'm just joking. Stick crank baits. This is my spinner baits and buzz baits. And that was very hard. That was probably not good on the bait, slamming it down like that. I got buzz baits. These are good buzz baits. They don't swim as they don't like buzz as good or swim as good as the other buzz baits. But what they do is they hang off, and then I think it's it keeps the fish on longer. You don't lose as many, in my opinion. I mean, I don't think I don't think you do because it moves around. And if it, it's like a fish jerks his head, the bait moves with it. And then I got buzz baits, buzz baits, buzz baits. I think buzz baits. Yeah, that's buzz bait couple of them and I got this is a brand new buzz bait got it at Bass Pro no I got it at Sports and Warehouse never mind Sprinter bait black and blue black and red buzz buzz no spinner 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 this is a great spinner bait I've caught a fish on it caught a couple I mean I haven't used all these that much I mean I use I mainly go soft plastics and jig but every now and again I'll throw a spinner and I love it I love spinner and love it a lot but I like jigs and soft plastic the best because that in my opinion always works all year jig soft plastic all year always works 
So, I mean, I think, I mean, it does. I mean, I catch fish on it with soft plastic and jig all year. So that's why I use that a lot. Then right here, we have my young crawdad thing. I used to have a ton of crawdads in here. Then after I used them, I caught fish on them, used them, lost them, whatever. Then I put my jigs in here. I still got some of them. Caught this, got, ooh, watermelon red. Watermelon, only watermelon red, one left. Black and blue. Got a jig right here with a crawdad already on it. Uh, zoom crawdad. I think I've done a video on that, I don't know. Some swim, swim jigs, shad swim jig. It's a good jig, good jig. And I got some hooks. I was going micro fishing the other day, and I only did for about uh, let's see, three, four casts. And I was like, you know, and I was on my bait caster. I didn't have my spinning reel. I forgot after I put it on, cast a couple times. I was like, I forgot that a no, uh, bait caster cannot take micro fishing very good. Another black and blue is my favorite jigs. I love jigs. I use them a lot, as I said earlier. We use them a lot. That's that's a lot of my tackle box. Let's go on to the next thing. Let's go. Let's go look, let's go check this out. You know what? Who cares about cutting it? You know? Who cares? Hi -ya! Boy, got me my hooks. Oh crap, that hook's about to get out. Okay. So sinkers, sinkers, and I got some drop shot hooks in here. Ah, I'm hooked. Ah, drop shot hook. I drop shot Lake Cumberland sometimes. Drop shot sinker. Hooks, more hooks, worm sinkers, hooks, hooks, hooks. The normal hooks, the normal hooks I use for soft plastic. Speaking of soft plastic, okay, so on this end, I have my favorite color, Senko. Man, I catch bass on this a lot. It's good, Senko. In Indiana, I caught a ton of bass on it. Those bass were starved, though. I think anybody could catch bass there. I mean, I'm not bragging at that place. It's just easy. Then I got some leaves. What else do I have in here? Some watermelon red, watermelon red worms. I mean, I use Gary Yamamoto power bait the most with worms and Senkos. And I mean, this is just my worms and Senkos pouch. And then over here, I got everything, all my other plastics from trailers like trailers, blue flick, to, to crawdads, crawdads with trailers. And this this is a couple tubes. I don't use tubes very often, but I only have one pack. Then I have some blue fleck crawdads. Blue fleck crawl. Crazy crawl. Blue fleck. Zoom is what I use a lot. Got some trailers there. Swim baits. That's my plastics. So that's mainly my tackle box. I got cranks, spinner baits, buzz baits, jigs, plastics, top water, and I got some other stuff. So I mean that's pretty much all that I've used. It's pretty much all that I use. So that's my tack box for you. So there you go. Okay, so since I have some time, I'm gonna show you guys my newest bait caster. I don't think I did any videos on this. And my dog needs to be quiet. So it's a new pole, good pole. Check out this reel, Johnny Morris. Oh man, I got it from Bass Pro. I have a Cinco on right now. But man, it's a good pole. Good pole. Good reel. Cast so good. And it has 10 notches you can change it to. His little thingy. I mean, I love it a lot. I love it so much. This is my favorite reel that I have. I have, I have one. I have a two bait casters and a spinning reel. And then I have other stuff that I use. But I mean, mainly I use this. My white spinning, my white bait caster, not my spinning reel, my white bait caster, and then my other spinning reel. So that's basically everything. I just wanted to show you guys this, my tackle box today. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.